Hi and welcome to week 33 of U.S. history. So um, we'll delve this week into five key topics, the civil rights movement, the environmental movement, executive power in the context of the Watergate scandal, the rise of conservative movements, and the landmark Supreme Court decision on rule versus Wade. So... The Civil Rights Movement was a transformative period in American history, marked by grassroots activism and legislative victories that challenged racial segregation and discrimination. Led by influential figures like Martin Luther King Jr. and Rosa Parks, the movement sparked nationwide protests, boycotts, and marches, ultimately leading to landmark legislation such as the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights Act of 1965. These victories not only dismantled legal barriers to equality, but also paved the way for broader societal shifts, inspiring subsequent movements for social justice. We'll then turn our attention to the environmental movement. Its origins can be traced back to the mid-20th century, when concerns over pollution, conservation, and ecological preservation began to gain traction. Influential works like Rachel Carson's Silent, Silent Spring raised public awareness about the detrimental effects of pesticide use, galvanizing grassroots activism and spurring the creation of environmental organizations such as the Sierra Club and Greenpeace. Over time, the movement evolved to address global issues like climate change, demonstrating the enduring importance of environmental advocacy in safeguarding the planet for future generations. Moving on, The Watergate scandal, perhaps one of the most infamous episodes in American political history, underscored the significance of executive power and accountability. The scandal, which involved illegal activities and cover-ups orchestrated by members of President Richard Nixon's administration, led to Nixon's resignation in 1974 and prompted widespread scrutiny of government ethics and transparency. The fallout from Watergate catalyzed reforms aimed at curbing executive overreach and strengthening checks and balances within the government, leaving a lasting legacy in American politics and governance. Uh, shifting gears, let's examine, we'll examine the rise of conservative movements in the late uh, 20th century, culminating in the Reagan Revolution of the 1980s. So fueled by dissatisfaction with perceived liberal policies and a desire for smaller government and free market principles, conservative leaders like Ronald Reagan rallied support for their agenda, advocating for tax cuts, deregulation, and a strong national defense. The Reagan era ushered in a period of conservative dominance in American politics, reshaping the political landscape and influencing policy debates for decades to come. Finally, we come to Roe versus Wade, a landmark Supreme Court decision that legalized abortion nationwide in 1973. The ruling, which affirmed a woman's right to choose, ignited intense debate and activism on both sides of the issue, sparking ongoing legal battles and cultural divisions. Roe v. Wade remains one of the most contentious and consequential decisions in Supreme Court history, shaping not only reproductive rights, but also broader discussions on privacy, individual autonomy, and the role of government in personal affairs. So I hope you found this video to be fruitful. I look forward to working with you all in class this week. Thank you.